turn this out to the world? Well, yeah. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> to the side of my dinner box. was my game. And it was always a quality. Do you want me to change my favourite part of Christmas? What is Ellis up to these days? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Let's go out and party freaking hard tonight. Hi guys, please can I ask you some questions? Yep. Yes. So the title of this video is what you don't know about Ellis Watts, but me and Ashley are here as well, so we'll answer the questions too. Keeps falling back. So. I put a question box on my story and people ask some things in the question box. So, the first thing that people have asked for us to discuss is if you were given a box with everything that you've lost in it, what would be the one thing that you'd want to find the most? Oh. You'd be excited to find. Everything in life that you've ever lost, what would you want to be in that box? My hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a fantastic That's such a good answer. I think this is a fantastic question. I That's thought great. you were gonna say that, so no, I'll start beating to it. It doesn't embarrass answer. me as much. <laughs> <laughs> to insult myself before you insult me. <laughs> to save dignity. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good question, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I've lost some I've lost a lot of things as well. I mean, there's always that one like My jacket, AirPods. jacket or jumper. Uh, like, you, you where, where, where does it go? Yeah. That's for me. Bro, I had the nicest. It was just a plain black Nike jumper. I took it to London and I got complimented so much. And I was like, it's my favourite jumper. I never saw it after that day in London. <laughs> I never saw it again. Yeah, my AirPods is a big one. And then the second pair of AirPods that I bought that I accidentally gave to Stoney in Los Angeles, and then they went missing as well. You accidentally gave them to him? Well, I didn't do it by accident, but I he I took them. He mistake. took them. No, he, oh. <laughs> he used them, but then he lost them. Right, okay, right. So maybe they should be in Stoney's box. Yeah. All right, get them out of his box and give, give them, them to you. To me, yeah. <laughs> I like that question. What about you? That is cool, yeah. That, that takes a bit of pondering time, we'll I think. An, we'll come back to Ashley because he'll answer this in three days. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley takes three to five working days to figure out the answer to this question. He wakes questions. up in bed. Jarvis! <laughs> Favourite Christmas tradition or thing you used to do for Christmas as kids? Oh, I know mine. Go then. Mine one is basically we'd have our presents and then at dinner there'd always be one more present left. Oh, cool. So my mum used to, like, when the new Xbox came out, I'd get the new Xbox, but I'd have no games to play. Right. So I'd have to be with the family all Christmas nice. and then we'd sit down, have dinner, and, and to the side of my dinner Xbox. was my game. And it was always a quality. I loved it. College, you yeah. Always a Great quality. Great parenting. What about you, sir? Mine is Tinkerbell. We've told this story on the channel already. Well, do you want me to change my favourite part of Christmas? No. It's my favourite part. Okay, what about um, Christmas Eve then? Like, we always do something with the family. That's Tinkerbell. No, no, we do something oh, together. Sorry. What do you, you want me to say? Tell me what to say and I'll say it. Oh, sorry. So on Christmas Eve, even though now like, my brother has his own house with kid, my sister the same, but on Christmas Eve we all come together, we all go for food, play bowling or anything. So just very cool family time with the nice. media family. And then Tinkerbell comes. And then Tinkerbell comes. What is this? Did I say that right? Tinkerbell comes the night before Christmas and she brings you new pyjamas and slippers for you to sleep in. Ah. So you sleep comfortably and you wake up in the morning and you can open your presents in nice comfortable new pyjamas. So our tradition to go out on Christmas Eve for food and bowling or whatever, yeah, yeah. we come back from that and Tinkerbell's been. So we, cool. we, we come back and we go, oh, it's Tinkerbell been! So we run upstairs, jump onto our beds and then we've got like um, a, a present so we don't wrap oh, it. Yeah. Tinkerbell's been! Tinkerbell's oh, been! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that's that. cool. I like so that. a bit of excitement the night before Christmas, yeah. like get a little present to open. I'm just getting so excited that we're going to crash. Yeah. <laughs> Tinkerbell's been! <laughs> How she comes this year? I do Christmas jammies on Christmas Eve. For the last five years, I have bought them myself and, and I always wait. How great are all the Christmas pyjamas that are out the whole of Christmas? Yeah. Like, and I always wait till... Christmas Eve to buy them. And I always land flat on my feet. I always get some great ones ah, on yeah. Christmas Eve. It's almost like I have to wait until Christmas Eve to buy them. Ah, just, for the, just for the rush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't really know. Don't know. I just, I just love Christmas. I feel like a lot of my Christmases have been different though. Like there's nothing we really, there's really, really like tradition, I guess. We have our stockings on our door and I go and wait Niall up with his and he has to like go in his room and we open them together. There's always my mum, that's 
Santa. That's quite cool and actually we always have um, in our stockings. Maybe you'll get that this year. A 1p, a 2p, a 5p, a 10p, a 20p, a 50p, a pound coin and a two pound coin. I'm, okay. making, I'm making money. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom of our stocking is one of every coin. And you know the year that all the coins made up the England shield? Yeah. That oh, cool. year it was all of the, the shield ones. So we Sick. Made, made, the made the shield. That is cool. Yeah. So every year. As so have you, got, have you got them like stored somewhere? They will be somewhere. I don't know where. Nah, right. So that's not cool. Awesome, nice. Um, what are Ash's goals for the next five years? <laughs> Somebody's asked. Wow, is it specifically Ashley? It says Ash's goals. That's right. The next five years. <laughs> well, I mean, the life we live, it's not like, oh, I want to be, I don't want to be like, I want to be promoted and I want to be, I don't know, a manager and all that kind of stuff. But currently at the moment, um, my goal is to launch and sell the best handstand program in the world. So, I mean, I don't necessarily have five-year goals, but like, five-year goal is to own a house with Joanna, the love of my life. I have two babies. Five years. So yeah, that's that, that's all it is. Like just keep doing what I'm doing. Grow the YouTube. I want to make. I want different avenues of income. So not just YouTube. So when you guys stop watching me, I don't lose all my money and lose the house. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Progress and grow in the areas that I want to right now. And in the future, to in five years, to hopefully have a house with Joanna. Because our plan was to get married and have a six. Turn this out to the world. Well, yeah, get married. <laughs> Have a six month honeymoon where we travel the world, do our stuff, and then when we come back, we'll buy a house together to settle in. Wow, honeymoon stuff coming soon, guys. <laughs> Maybe not that soon. <laughs> um, what is Ellis up to these days? Uh, what am I up to these days? I am, well, not much has changed. Wannabe YouTuber, wannabe streamer. Uh, and I work at a bar. Love it. That's literally it. That's what I do. Nice. Nice. Oh, I still feel, I still feel for these guys. Yay! Yay. Uh, we love and appreciate you. Absolutely. If it wasn't for the career that you're in currently, what do you think you would be doing instead? I kind of feel like with my family, I might have gone into some form of engineering or trade. Yeah, she might say engineering. Yeah. Engineering or Very trade. With that. Yeah. It's so obviously my my dad's an engineer at Royal Mail. Tim's an engineer at BT. Ryan is a garage door. Engineer. Engineer, technician, whatever you call it. You're a YouTube engineer. I'm a YouTube engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I engineer sick content. <laughs> what about you, El? I don't know, you know, because like the boring answer, which is the easy one, is probably like, like it would just literally be like managing a, a store. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. a yeah. I mean, that's just what I was good at. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not much of a career. I think I'd like to have been an inventor. Could you have been a... an inventor? Yeah, that'd have been All right, yeah. Like that. yeah. Something. That'd have been sick. What about like a, what do you call yourself now, a videographer? Yeah. You would, yeah. Yeah. An, in an inventor is going to be my fun answer. Inventor, yeah, I like inventor. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. Probably be an actor. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What? Yes. You should have said that. Why did I not say that? Um, Absolutely. You'd be an, an Avenger. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. I feel like in Very another stuff. life, I... I mean, we kind of are actors. It's, like, quite cool yeah. to do the job that we do because, I mean, we're being out... Our, the character that we're playing is ourselves. But it is, like, a form of acting, isn't it, really, to make and create content. But I feel like I lived, like, at school, I was really clever, but I also was really into, like, performing arts and theatre. When I went into sick form, I chose the clever path <laughs> yeah. rather than the creative, the creative like, it's performing crazy. path. Not yeah. that actors aren't clever. No. No. No, there was just two different areas of my yeah. life. Unfortunately, you've, you've gone down the business path, but you've also still managed, managed to, to get yeah, managed to, well, to which is keep nice. it in. Yeah, that is really nice. Have things changed in the group now that you and Ash are together? I don't think so. Like, obviously, we spend more time together separate now purely just because yeah. we want to spend time alone rather than before it was like all the group was together all the, all time, the time doing everything whereas now like I'd much rather sometimes just do with you just me and you watching a film rather than like the whole squad I don't think any dynamics have changed too much no. like, I was just going to say I feel like it has changed but okay. not in a bad way Okay. Like, I feel like it was bound to change yeah, right. I also argue I think everyone kind of changed at the same time mm -hmm. like, we all went into different chapters yeah. at the same time you guys got together so it didn't change anything it, was yeah. Yeah. Like, it, was just it wasn't like we got together and then 
It's, I feel like there was a period of time, probably this time last year and like for five or six months after that, where it was like we were the squad and that was everyone's identity. Yeah. I kind of like it now that everyone's doing their own thing yeah. and we come together and it's still great yeah. and we yeah. still do cool things and we still have a great time and we still really love and care about each other. But I feel like everybody's doing more of their own thing now, yeah. which I feel like had to happen anyway. Yeah. Um, I feel like if we'd have stayed how we were, we'd have probably all ended up with no money. Degenerate. Yeah. Yeah. Probably hating each, each other. hating each other and having a big massive fallout. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but in terms of me and you, I just feel like it was nicer. It's nicer now that we're actually together. I feel like before we were together, there was just an elephant in the room the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Whereas now it's... very nice to come last year. And on that note, <laughs> keep smashing it. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, anything is possible. Just work.